And Lord bless you, dear heart dwellers, with his wisdom. When I came into prayer today, I was upset about something, a situation that I was trying to help in, and it kind of backfired on me. And so I was a little bit upset, and I was concerned for a certain soul. And I said, Lord, I'm here, and you know the grief I'm feeling. Where are you? <laughs> Jesus began, that's a silly question. I'm right here with my bride, whom I love. Ah, <laughs> don't worry about this soul. I'm taking care of it. Faithful God, get the hint? Well, the reason he said faithful God is because when I awoke from my afternoon nap, after I fell asleep in worship, I was praying for someone and very concerned, aching really, and the song Faithful God by Gateway Worship came on. I sensed it was the Lord's answer to my concern because when I tried to approach the situation directly, it was a rebuff. <laughs> so now I know I can rest in His faithful provision and not worry about it. So that's why he said that, Faithful God, hint, hint. <laughs> At the risk of repeating myself, I just want to say that's a wonderful way to hear the Lord and what's on His heart for the day. Lord, is there something more you want to say today? He began, never be afraid of being wrong. If you have this fear, you are sure to be manipulated by Satan. If you care nothing about being right or wrong, but care very much about the truth, the demons will have no leverage on you. Very often I allow error because I'm taking the soul into a breaking, through to a better level of understanding. Always humility comes before promotion. My dear ones, there's nothing wrong with being mistaken. There's everything wrong with being in denial. When a soul becomes convinced of their own rightness, an obtuse spirit gains entry. An obtuse spirit builds walls that make you blind to the truth. Whatever knowledge threatens you, they build a blind spot into your thinking. If it goes on for years and years, a person's world becomes more and more narrow and limited. Please always value the truth above being right, and this won't happen to you. I looked up the word obtuse, by the way, and the only thing that fit what I knew he meant from my experience with this word was boneheaded. <laughs> oh, well, I think obtuse is a nicer word. Uh, he continued, I lead my vessels through many, many paths of breaking and reforming. More numerous are they than you can count. When you come to serve me, I have plans that automatically implement so that you will go from glory to glory. Don't be stubborn or lax, dear ones. All is for your good and the good of my body. At that point, I was reminded of uh, the building of a skyscraper. The foundation goes down several hundred feet to support the top of the structure. So the more important the ministry, the longer and deeper the preparation time. At least that's been my observation. He continued, I am purifying my vessels in this hour, so don't be surprised if you uncover some blind spots in your life. Better now than later. What you work on now will no longer hinder you as you move forward. What you refuse to work on will hold you back. Just like the Israelites were held back when they continually went around the mountain for 40 years. Souls that fall into this life pattern only come to know themselves when I take them to heaven. Then all is seen so very clearly. For some it's a painful shock. But for others it's a happy surprise. If you know me, truly know me on this earth, you will also come to know yourself because I teach you all about yourself as you follow me with your whole hearts. So never be afraid to be wrong, but always be concerned about missing the truth. Stay faithful to me and faithful to the truth, 
and you'll have nothing to be ashamed of in that hour. <laughs>